Hello everyone. So we have learned about uh, CPM. So next uh, topic in network is PERT, the second technique that we are going to learn. So PERT is nothing but project evaluation or program evaluation review technique. So uh, people use this in both words, project or program. So uh, in CPM, uh, we assume that uh, our time estimate is quite certain. So we know about the time estimate because we have the previous experience, a lot of experience, and we know that, okay, the, this project, this activity will finish within this time. But there are other uncertainties which is associated with this thing, but uh, CPM does not cover those uncertainties. Or uh, if it's a new project or a research kind of project where uh, the activities are unknown, or the time estimate for them are not so obvious. So on those uh, kind of situations, how we will deal with uh, uh, the time estimates. So th there we use the probabilistic model uh, where uh, in PERT, they use uh, three uh, time, three uh, time estimates for calculating the, uh, uh, the time for after calculating the time, uh, expected time for this completion of this activity, then rest is uh, nothing but the CPM. So you have to estimate the critical path and you have to continue with that uh, uh, other uh, steps which is involved in CPM. So the three uh, uh, time estimates are nothing but one is all the optimistic time, second is the most likely time and uh, third is pessimistic time. Optimistic time is nothing but if Everything, everything is uh, going according to the plan and there is no problem. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, working under ideal situations. So what is the time if it, uh, everything is in the ideal situation and nothing goes wrong? So that is what is known as uh, optimistic time. And most likely time means we know that uh, things are not ideal. So there can be some deviations happening. So for a certain uh, reason for or other, it can be delayed some, somewhat. Uh, it will not be optimistic time. So some delay can happen. So that is what is not, means. Uh, and uh, with the uh, have, means if you understand the previous uh, uh, similar activities which is done, so we can expect that this is the time which can uh, the, it, it is it can happen most likely. That is what is known as most likely time. And pessimistic time is nothing but if everything is happening wrong. If everything is going wrong, so it will take maximum time to complete that project, right? So that maximum time is known as pessimistic time. Don't confuse it with the latest finishing time. It's nothing to do with the earlier start or latest finish. It is the time uh, with the activity can change. The duration of we are talking about. The duration can change if uh, something happening wrong. That is known as pessimistic time. Okay, now when you have uh, uh, these uh, three time estimates, then you can calculate the expected time TE to be uh, the optimistic time plus four times the most likely time plus pessimistic time, the whole divided by six, which means that it's nothing but a weighted average, weighted average uh, where the, uh, the most of the weight is given to the most likely time. That is also logically, if you think, uh, suppose um, uh, the chances that the optimistic and the, the pessimistic time is very less and uh, most chances that it will, it will happen to the most likely time. So the more weightage is given to the most likely time. So it's a weighted average methods to calculate uh, the uh, expected time. And also that is capable of uh, telling. So what is the variance? Uh, so what is, the, what is the expected time and what is the variance and also what is the standard deviation so that it can change what is the spread means uh, uh, we are saying that, okay, our project will complete in 22 days. Doesn't mean that it will complete in 22 days. With the probability, we can say that, okay, it will complete within these 22 days with this um, probability or with the standard deviation, or this is the standard deviation of the critical part. So that kind of flexibility is there for this pert analysis. So for a pert analysis, they use uh, a beta distribution. Pert is a beta distribution curve. Don't think that it's a bell-shaped curve. It's a slightly different than a bell-shaped curve. That is why it is beta distribution. So uh, about the beta distribution, if you learn about the statistical quality control, uh, we will uh, discuss those things in the statistical quality control where we use the beta distribution. So uh, for a point in this thing, so we will calculate it uh, with the weighted average, giving more weightage is the most likely time. And, uh, so if you are uh, in the x-axis, we are plotting the uh, possible duration and in the y-axis, the probability of occurrence. So we know that for optimistic and uh, 
uh, pessimistic time, the chance of occurrence is very low. And for the most likely time, it is the highest, highest for the most likely time. Okay. So uh, that's how we calculate uh, the thing. So uh, variance is nothing but uh, uh, the uh, difference between the pessimistic time and the optimistic time divided by six. The whole square will give you the variance and uh, root of uh, this uh, value will give you the standard deviation. So that's uh, nothing but the statistics. So uh, as I told, uh, if uh, we are given, means if we understand the uh, length of the critical path. So that's the most likely time for the project to be completed. But if you want to know, suppose if it is 22, so what, is, what are the chances that my project will come within 20, 23 days? So those kind of things we can uh, get from this pattern analysis. For the case which is shown here, we know, uh, uh, so what is the deadline of the project? Uh, the deadline is 50 days. Okay, so what is the, what are the chances that the project meets the deadline? Now, uh, so uh, we have defined the normal deviate, which is known as z. So z is nothing but d minus s divided by root of variance. So that's the standard deviation. Root of variance will give you the standard deviation. So d means that a deadline uh, we are talking about the uh, thing that we are interested. In. S is nothing but the length of the critical path. So that we will calculate from the uh, from the CPM analysis. Okay, so that we get as 23. Suppose for a case, it is given as 23. And now the question is, what is the chance that it will complete within 50, 50 days? So 23 is the, uh, uh, the TE or uh, the length of critical path. So what is the chance that it will complete in 50 days? Now variance also we have calculated from the, uh, we will learn how to calculate the variance of the critical path is also given. So root of that will give you the standard deviation. So that standard deviation is this much. Now we uh, know all the, these three values, then we can calculate Z. So Z is coming to be 1.22. Then if I get the z value, then the probability that, uh, that that will happen within this time, it has to be taken from the, the standard normal curve or the standard normal chart. So that will get 1 point, uh, not 0.88, means that 88.8% .8 uh, chance of completing the project uh, within 50 days. Okay, that is how we have to interpret. For uh, now, now, this is the standard normal uh, distribution. It's a bell-shaped curve. Uh, it's um, I'm talking about. It's not a uh, per case completely beta distribution. This is used for cal calculating the probability only. So uh, we know that the Z score that we have calculated it is coming on 1.2 to 1.22 will come here. Uh, this will, it will come. So the cumulative percentage that we have to get it is coming to be 88 percent point some somewhere here. So that will be. 88 uh, percent. In a gate point of view, uh, maybe the chances of uh, uh, a straightforward question like uh, giving the Z chart and calculating the things uh, are not so, uh, means we, I, we have not seen uh, any kind of questions like that. But uh, there are possibilities that if it is uh, coming, it's a reverse calculation. Suppose uh, you can ask, I mean, so they can ask that what deadline. Uh, are you 95% uh, sure that of the project completion? Means the, the percentage is given, you have to find out the number of days uh, which will be suitable for that percentage for the meeting the deadline. So uh, Z value is given, I mean, uh, Z value is uh, for 95, that this value will be given the, for the 95% uh, probability or 0.95% probability. What is the Z value from the chart? Then we have to find out what is D. So the reverse calculation, so you can uh, find out the D as 52.45 days. So that, that kind of questions can be expected if uh, somebody want to ask from this topic. So this is the basically the chart I was talking about. So here it will be Z score, uh, uh, so zero means uh, one, two, three, uh, three point six or uh, more it will be there. So suppose if I get the, in the previous case, 1.22 was the thing. So 1.2 is here. So this is the uh, two, so 1.22. This is uh, the third digit, uh, second digit after the point. So this is the answer. So this is how you calculate the thing. So this is for the positive uh, Z values and there are also charges for the negative Z uh, values. So uh, uh, the, from this chart, you can calculate the, uh, the probability. So let's learn uh, put with an example. So uh, for a, a project, 
uh, having activities A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The residence relation is also given. Optimistic time, most likely time, and pessimistic time is also given. So we have to calculate uh, T E. T means the expected time. So the equation for T E will be T E equal to optimistic time plus four times most likely time plus pessimistic time divided by six. And variance for each activity will be nothing but T P pessimistic time minus optimistic time divided by six. All square. Okay, so let's uh, do one by one. So uh, T E for uh, activity A, uh, uh, two plus ten, uh, twelve. Four times three will be twelve. Twelve plus twelve, twenty-four. Twenty-four divided by six will be four. And uh, four plus two, six. Three into four, twelve. Six plus twelve, eighteen. Eighteen divided by six will be three. Similarly, it will be two, seven, six, four, two. Now the variance is uh, T P ten minus two, which will be eight. Eight divided by six. Eight by six means uh, uh, four by three. Four by three whole square means sixteen by nine. Here it will be uh, two. Four minus two, two. 2 divided by 6 means 1 by 3. 1 by 3 means 1 by 9. This will also be 1 by 9. 25 by 9. 16 by 9. 1 by 9. And 1. This is uh, how you calculate the um, the variance and the expected time. Once you have the expected time, you can uh, use that expected time to uh, draw the network and find out the uh, critical path. So this is the network. I have drawn it for you. Now uh, let's. Uh, Uh, write the uh, possible uh, paths. So A G F and length A G F A B G B E G. So these are the three. And for A G F, what is uh, the total length? Four uh, plus four plus two, ten. Uh, A D G four plus seven plus two. Means thirteen. Uh, B E G three plus six plus two eleven. So this is the uh, highest, and this is the critical part. Thirteen is the highest. So A B G. So you have to make sure that uh, the value I have taken here is the T E that we have calculated, so that uh, once you uh, now you get the critical path and length of the critical path. Now, if it was asked, what is the uh, the variance of the project? So project variance. So uh, then uh, we don't have to calculate all the variance. Uh, So, uh, project variance is uh, the variance of the critical path. So, with the variance of A, so this one, uh, G, A, D, this one, and G. So, one by sixteen by nine plus twenty-five by nine plus one will give you nine twenty-five uh, uh, plus nine fifty 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 by nine. So this is the total uh, project variance, and the standard deviation sigma will be given will be the root of variance. It will be uh, root of 50 by 9. It will be uh, coming around uh, 5. Um, uh, it was given as 2.35. So that is the standard deviation. So now we know that S is 13 and the sigma is uh, 2.35. So we what we are interested suppose uh, uh, now 13. So uh, what is the probability T of uh, project completion less I uh, mean so uh, within 40 days suppose so it is it is less than or equal to 40 days. So project will complete um, within 14 days. 14 days. Suppose all all are in days. 
so so how how will you calculate so we have to calculate z z is nothing but d which is for uh, d minus s divided by sigma which is equal to 14 14 minus 13 divided by 2.35 so 1 divided by 2.35 will give you around 0.42 okay now uh, uh, how how will you means uh, we have only uh, the value for 0.42 how will you calculate uh, the probability so is that is 0.02 so what is the probability that uh, uh, is it less than 14 will be we have to find out the z value uh, from the z score we have to calculate the probability so that is this is 0.4 and this is 0.42 so it is giving us 0.6628 so let me write it out 0.6628 it means that 66 0.28 is the percentage of uh, with the 66% confidence we can say that uh, it will happen within 40 days similarly if uh, if uh, what is the probability that uh, if is a d is equal to if that d is equal to uh, number of days is 15 suppose if i want to complete the project what is the probability that uh, it will happen within 50 then the value of z will be 2 divided by uh 2.35 which is will be equal to 0.85 and uh, corresponding to that uh, what is the uh, probability will be uh, 0.85 we need to see so 0.8 so this is uh, 5 uh 0.8 so this is the this is the this is the probability so 0. so 80 per, um, 0.80 Uh, 2 3 so 80 per 80% uh, and if it, what is if d is 16 uh, then z will be 3 divided by 2.5 uh, 2.35 will be 0.89 no one uh, it will be 1. no oh, okay it will be 1.27 uh, and uh, corresponding probability will be 1.2 will be here uh 1.27 is this one so this value uh that is uh 8.0.8988 this is how we calculate uh, uh the probabilities uh if if uh, if it was asked but for this uh you have to uh, keep in mind that you need the uh, this uh, standard normal chart similarly uh, there are chances that okay Uh, we can uh, and uh, find out what is the probability that uh, it will be less than 13 also that was what is the probability that is uh, it will be means uh, our uh, our normal time will be 13 what is the probability that it will complete in 12 days so then uh, we will have to use the negative uh, is a chart means uh, probability for negative scores uh, so it will be a 12 minus 13 so there will be minus 1 by divided by uh, sigma so it will be minus 0.24 uh, for 2 so now we have to see where is that 0.4 so this is 0.4 this is 0.42 so for uh, 12 uh, for uh, project completion to be on 12 days it will be the probability is 34.09 so similarly you can find out uh, for the negative uh, value so for 11 days uh, for the project completion to be within 11 days it will be minus 0.85 so uh, so 0.8 and 0.85 so it will be 1 uh, 19.77% probability this is how you uh, do the pattern analysis